Good morning footy fans and welcome to CK3. He's out on the full though at the moment. It looks a little bit more like on the couch, but uh, forget about it. We've got four games of SNFL footy this weekend. All four of them are on Saturday, the first of which sees Glenelg host West Adelaide down at the Bay. And not many would know that between 1942, Chris, and 1944, these two sides actually played as a single unit during those war years. Although it's 2010 now and these, these clubs are uh, their enemies once again. And Glenelg have had the wood on West Adelaide. They've won the last eight, the last three by an average margin of 41.3 reoccurring points, if you just want to sort of, you know, have a guess at it. And I can smell another victory for the Tigers this week. And I can smell the Hippo News and the Media Guide very nicely, compiled by Phil Herbert and Peter Argent. Let's get another plug for that. Um, <laughs> Glenelg are in very good form, no doubt about that whatsoever. And they really are pushing very hard for that top spot, but they've got to knock over Centrals first. And they've got to start pinching games like this by a fair margin. Now, West Adelaide are also pushing for a spot in the final stringy. Andrew Collins has said at times they're playing like a team that should be out of the finals. That's not the right mindset to take into this one. They really have to try and hammer home the advantage if they can get it over Glenelg. I really do think Glenelg are going to have too many options for them though. It's a lot for West Adelaide to cover, so Glenelg should win this one at Glider Rock. Norwood take on North Adelaide at, uh, at Cooper Stadium on the parade. And on current form, you'd, you'd have to write it off as a Norwood victory, but North Adelaide have won the last seven uh, on the parade. It's obviously a very happy hunting ground for them. You'd have to go back to 2007, I think it was, to find the last uh, final margin that was less than four goals. Is this one going to be a, another blowout or is this going to be a tight game? What do you think? Gee, if you're talking last week's form into it, and Nord was super impressive against South Adelaide in patches. They did take their foot off the accelerator at times too and missed the chance to build some percentage, but in full flop, they look fantastic. North Adelaide, look, they're playing out the season, but they want to finish with a bit of confidence. Nord should win this one and they should win it fairly comfortably if they're serious about the double chance. Port Adelaide take on the Woodville West Torrens Eagles at Alton Oval and well, Port was just superb against Sturt last week and of course it came just after we said that they hadn't been able to string four quarters together. The Eagles have got a lot to play for, they're uh, hanging in that top five. I think that will be uh, enough to get them over the line, but you disagree? Yeah, I do. I think Port Adelaide was superb last week and they deserved that. Sturt were having a flat day, but Sturt have been having a bit of a flat season. Take nothing away though, the Magpies finally punished the team and what a way to do it, shaping the top five as we suspected they were going to. They're going to match up fairly well against the Eagles three. Now it's going to depend a little bit on some of the AFL players perhaps going in, going out of, of both lineups. So you'd think that Port will stick with Cameron Cloak at the very least, but I really do smell the upset down here at Alvin. Well, from the shortest road trip of the round to the longest, South Adelaide taking on Central District down at uh, down at Norlunga. And to be honest, I don't think it would matter where these two clubs are playing. I think Central District, on current form and historically, they've won 22 of the last 23 games between the two sides. I think they can smell a pretty big win. I think they can too. Um, honestly, this is going to get very messy. I really believe at one point. Ron Fuller was furious with the players last week. He said that some of them did, just did not understand the requirements of league football. And honestly, he was dead right. Some of the guys out there were just very disappointing for them. And this is part of the fact-finding mission for Ron Fuller, finding out who's going to be there to take them to the next level. Centrals are going to have no such trouble with, with them here. Honestly, you can see a clinic emerging with this one. Centrals, 14 to 16 goals. If they don't rest players and if they don't take their foot off the accelerator and if South Adelaide manage to flood 16 players back into defence. But honestly, Centrals have got the sharp shooters kick over a flood. There you go. An interesting round 19 of the SNFL. We'll be back next week as we head towards the business end of the season. We'll see you then.